So the next one is valence electrons. Okay. So valence shell and valence electrons and valency. Okay. So first, what is valence shell? So the outermost shell of an atom is called a valence shell. Okay. In the last um, uh, last example, uh, n shell. No, that is. Uh, K L M N. So M uh, we filled uh, eight. Then balance two in N shell. So N shell is the outermost uh, shell. Okay, uh, for that uh, what calcium? Calcium we be in last example we seen no. Uh, so M K shell two L shell eight electrons. M shell eight electrons and uh, N uh, in N shell two electrons. So uh, here two that N shell is the valence. Uh, Uh, shell okay uh, so the outermost shell of an atom is called valence shell and the electrons which is present in the uh, outermost shell is said to be valence electron for that calcium uh, two electrons in n shell okay two electrons in n shell so n is the valen um, valence shell uh, that is the outermost shell for uh, calcium atom so valence shell uh, is n shell and two electrons is present in that uh, Uh, that shell. So uh, the valence electrons is two. Okay. So the number of valence electrons uh, for calcium is two. So uh, what is valence shell? Is that outermost uh, shell of an atom is said to be valence shell, and the elements, uh, sorry, the electrons uh, which is present in that uh, uh, valence shell is said to be uh, valence electrons. Okay. Then what is valency? So valence electrons. Valence shell that and all completed. So valency, what is uh, valency? So valency is nothing but the combining capacity of the element with other elements. Okay, so uh, an element, the combining capacity of an element with other elements, and it is equal to the number of electrons take part in a chemical reaction is said to be uh, valency. I will explain you uh, with examples. So. This is uh, valency. The combining capacity of the element with other element is said to be uh, valency. If uh, that uh, uh, in uh, some cells uh, we are having valence electrons one, two, three, four. One valence electrons uh, number of valence electrons one, two, three, four means the valency of that uh, um. Element is uh, valency one, two, three, four. If the valence electrons is one, means the valency is one. If the valence electrons is two, means the valency is two. If the valence electrons three is three, means the valency is three. If the valence electrons uh, four, means the valency is four. Okay, so don't confuse the valence shell means the outermost shell. Then valence electrons means the number of electrons. Present in the outermost shell, and the valency is that combining capacity of the element with other element. Okay, so here why I written this one two three four valency is one two three four means first one two three four is the valence electrons. If element having valence electrons one means the valency of that element is one. Two electrons means two. Three electron means Three, four electrons means the valency of that element is four. Okay, then if uh, uh, the elements having valence electrons are five, six, five means the valence electrons are in the outermost shell. There are five electrons are present. That means because maximum number of uh, electrons to be accommodated in a shell is eight. If five only filled means uh, that the valency is three. Okay, eight minus five, three. So, if uh, valence electrons is five, means the valency is three. If uh, valence electrons is six, means the valency is two. If the va valence electrons seven, seven valence electrons means the valency is one. Okay. So, this is one, two, three, four means the valency is one, two, three, four. There is no change. Five means three. Uh, five electrons, valence electrons na three. Six valence electrons na two. Valency is two. Seven electrons in this shape di na. Valence is one. Okay, so completely filled. If the valence electrons are illa full, full filled, I should be na. Other than minus or wrong, be na zero valency. For that, I am writing uh, the electronic configuration and the structure for uh, organ. Organ is a complete uh, uh, 
completely filled okay completely filled element argon uh, that mass number is 40 and atomic number is 18 okay atomic number is nothing but number of protons or number of electrons so mass number means 40 that is number of protons plus number of uh, neutrons okay so what is the number of protons we are we are writing that electronic configuration for electrons so uh, here for argon what is that uh, electrons 18 electrons so in the first shell k shell we have to put two two electrons see the first shell two electrons in the next cell we have to put what how many electrons 2n squared in the second shell means eight electrons so eight again how many balance are there 18 in the first two then next eight so totally 10 completed we have uh, again balances eight so what is the third rule for uh, filling the electrons we have to uh, we have to fill uh, electrons are not uh, does not exceed eight right so the maximum number of electrons in that outermost shell here that this is the outermost shell for organ so uh, eight electrons balance so we filled eight electrons so it is a completely filled two eight eight so it is a completely filled there is no uh, valency so uh, it is a uh, organ has a uh, completely filled um, electronic configuration so it has zero valency okay organ has zero valency